Conway KP, and uh, today uh, I'm gonna break down three drummers to me that are just very, um, you know, top shelf. Um, so we're gonna start off with number three on my list, Mr. Stuart Copeland. And uh, if you guys don't know the police or don't listen to the police, please do yourself a favor and check them out, especially their live albums. Stuart is just on a whole other level with those, you know, he is incredible. And the cool thing about watching Stuart play is he plays traditional, you know? So when you watch that stuff and he's rocking out on it, it's like, oh, dude, this is killer. He's playing traditional grip, which is not super easy in the rock world, but um, it, it still, you know, can be done, obviously, but it's, it's just amazing to watch him do that. So we're gonna start with things that uh, built his sound because in this video we're going to talk about how drummers stick out with their playing and what they do to uh, help not only the song but the drum set everything in fine concrete to where it's not moving anywhere it's it's steady so with Stuart Copeland a lot of his trademark stuff is uh, you know hi-hat he's really great on the hi-hat but on choruses or when things open up he loves this bell. He loves that right. So some of the stuff he does is uh, kind of like this. Now, you'll notice the bass drum and the bell uh, syncopate. They're, they're pretty much together the whole way. So let's try this out. As we go on, these aren't taken from any specific song. These are just kind of examples of uh, what they play that you can also morph into other things. Uh, but you will hear stuff like this on Stuart Copeland songs, and uh, it's ear candy. It's really fun to listen to. So playing it slow will sound like this. Bass drum, bell match. It's just great, simple, great, effective, bam, perfect. So the next drummer we're gonna talk about is, uh, I see I'm having a hard time with this list because I gotta put two and one, but the next two are both kind of like my number one. So of course you respect your elders, so we're gonna put Dave Grohl number two on my list here. Um, and his playing is awesome to hear because he has the power that my number one does. Uh, he has the simplicity that number one does. Um, but the cool thing about Grohl is he knows where to place an eighth note or a quarter note uh, that will change something or make it sound better. And it's just the adjustment of one note. Or the beautiful thing is where he'll place a rest to make that beat stick out. Now with Dave, like I said, everything is bass drum pretty much driven. So when you have a song like My Hero, that, uh, you know, the verse is like this. simplicity uh, so practice that one and that one's very similar to like monkey wrench you know off their second album that very bass drum drivy hi-hat is there let's check it out So the thing you want to understand about these drummers 
is when you hear their parts, you can isolate the drums and know exactly what drummer it is and know exactly what song they're playing. They write drum riffs. And that's kind of a goal with any song is you want to keep it simple, you want to keep the band and everything together, and you have to be the backbone, but you also want to write drum riffs to where when you isolate it, people know what you're playing. Speaking of, you can isolate this next drum beat and know exactly who it is, what song it is, what album it's from, and how it was recorded. That's how this song is so simple, and I'm gonna say it again, so effective that it just worked. And you guys know this one, ready? where everybody wanted to be Bonham. And even today now, you know, in the rock world, drummers, you ask them who are your top three favorite drummers, Bonham is either number two or number one like he was on my list. So uh, with him, it's kind of hard to give a lot of, uh, not, it's not hard to give a lot of examples, but with him, he was just, so in his brain with how he played, you know, he could change a fill in the, in the next measure or uh, just would improvise on spot and still fit those songs. <clears throat> so with Bonham, the thing to do with him, you're just gonna have to dive into Led Zeppelin. You're gonna have to listen to all of that stuff. Uh, one album I would recommend listening to is How the West Was Won. The drum work on that is phenomenal. It's their live double disc, amazing. <clears throat> so check that album out. Let me know what you think. Again, <clears throat> just building blocks. That's all this was. So uh, learn these, show me your top three favorite drummers, and uh, let's kind of work together on how to write drum riffs. So. Uh, good job guys. If you have any questions, please email me at petrusdrummer at gmail.com. And uh, I'll see you then. Catch you on the flip. Much love and uh, let's make it happen.